So what are we about to watch? Chasing Comets, you know, the feature film that you were in. Oh, yeah, yeah. How did that end up going? It's not, we're about, no, we're about to watch it. I thought it was already, I thought it was already out and it See, already went. You're ad-libbing already like you did in the script. Remember how I sent you a script and there were all these oh, lines yeah, on the yeah, page? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. you didn't do anything with the lines, you just... No, it's too, mate, there's, there's 90, how many pages was it? It was a lot of 90. pages. 90. What Whatever you, you did was very good, though. And Beefer, was this your man? How do you stop him? I don't know. I got your beef. See, when Waz is running at you, mate, you look at his face. You look at him dead in the eyes. You reach down to the field, pick up a bit of shit, and throw it right in his face, mate. But there's no shit on the field. When Waz is running at you, there will be. Ah! <laughs> all right. Oh, actually, I do remember filming the movie last year. Remember when I had my back? It was on the very first play. Remember this little... I was rubbing your back in between sets. You actually made it worse. No, in all seriousness, Jay, what, what, what is it really about? Well, Chasing Comets is a bit about a player who's, you know, he's a bit all over the place. You listen to me, you really do. You just do what you want. Yeah, it's always a mistake with you. He's finding his feet, but his, you know, his relationships are stuffing up, and, hmm. you know, he's trying to work out life, but he's, he's not doing a good job of it. It's loosely, loosely based on my life. Did you play? You know who I am excited to see? Dan Ewing, because he played you, yeah? He's very good, Dan Ewing. Yeah. He's very good. But does he play you? Well, he plays a version of me. He's a, y a younger, fitter. More hygienic. More, more tanned. Um, yeah. Healthier looking, probably a little bit more successful version of you, yeah? Well. You know, I've always had a thing for footballers. What a coincidence, because I've always had a thing for girls that like footballers. <laughs> so Stan Walker was in the film. He but, was very good, actually. But wasn't he really sick, or isn't he really, really sick or he something? He was. He's okay now, but he was good for the filming. Good for yeah. the filming, yeah. Okay. Well, you must be happy that he's, he's you know, done the documentary well. and oh, everyone knows who... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you suggesting that Stan's misfortune, that he's back in the limelight, everyone's rooting for him because he's been sick, you know? Mm. He's, do you think I'd be the kind of person that would exploit that? Yeah. It has crossed my mind. <laughs> that a boy. Chasing Comets, it's also set in Wagga. Yeah. Oh, and it, Wagga's perfect because, you, you know, you got the, the wrestle between league and AFL and which is more popular and which is a better sport. and Both great sports. And all that. Both great sports. Well, it's not for me. Uh, one of our players, Ray Stewart. He's a Kiwi. He should be learning the haku and using those thunder thighs to pump up players left, right and centre. Mate, he is a star. Oh, he wouldn't cut it in league anyway. Hey, you and I both know that AFL players are far fitter. You wouldn't see a league you're running 15 k's in a game. Try running 10 metres with four players on uh, your hey, back. Hey, try going from Mark, getting elbows in your face. It's easy to jump if you're wearing a singlet. I mean, singlets are made for frolicking down at the beach. I'm 45. I've got a dicky knee and I've had a triple bypass and I could still play a full game of league. <laughs> Very good. Very good. <laughs> what do you think? Oh. At least everyone else enjoyed it.